British artist Glyn Brown is a borrower and inventor, perhaps an appropriator with permission, a painter known for unearthing old images and breathing new life into them, from recognizable artworks to rarely seen characters and landscapes. At once embracing certain painterly conventions and eschewing others, Brown uses images from artistic periods including the Renaissance, Impressionism, and Surrealism to compose his works. Fresh off an exhibition at the Rembrandt House Museum in Amsterdam, Brown's work arrives in Florence for a dialogue with Museo Bardini's permanent collection. We got a chance to speak with the artist himself about what this exhibition means to him and to Florence. It's very nice for me to show my work in a museum that has a great deal of history in it because my work tries to encompass uh, five, six hundred years of art history uh, in it as well. Although it is very contemporary um, and I want my work to talk about present emotions and politics, I also want it to refer to the past very much and specif specifically to Renaissance and Baroque art. Um, so this is a very nice environment where you're looking at uh, not just art even from the Renaissance, but older, to, you know, Roman art. Uh, so often I think contemporary art tries to be very uh, new and shocking and just surprising for the sake of being new. And I'm sort of saying, well, no, we're forgetting too much of the past. We're forgetting what it is to look at drawing and painting and sculpture and enjoy the way that a piece of art is made uh, and enjoy the delicate nature of the way something is made. Uh, I spend a lot of time making my work. The drawings and paintings take uh, hours and, day and days and years very often. There is three sculptures here that I've been working on for the past four years. And uh, I think in Italy it has been the renaissance of the slow food movement and I want my work to be part of the slow art movement which means not only is it made very slowly but it's also looked at much more slowly and that you can contemplate it over a period of time not just five seconds on each work of art as you run around the gallery. At first the sculptures and the paintings and the drawings that I make might look very different. The sculptures are made of thick impasto oil paint uh, which is very uh, expressive and gestural and the paintings uh, well, may at first appear to be very thick and gestural but on closer inspection you realise that actually they're painted with very small brushes and that each brush mark is carefully reconstructed by me. So uh, in English you'd call it trompe l'oeil the trompe l'oeil is a French word. Um, the, my paintings look thick uh, and gestural, but actually the, the surface is absolutely flat. So it's very nice that um, I have an opportunity to show them here because my work doesn't reproduce very well either on the printed page or in, on the internet because you don't understand the sheer flat surface of my work. Um, I like it to look like it is printed perhaps, but it is absolutely not. None of my work is printed, it's all uh, painted very much by hand. 